Thesprotia, mother of primordial Greece, is a place of outstanding natural beauty. Looks as if it's emerging from the Ionian Sea and is situated between the west and the east, northwest of Epirus. An ideal place for visitors throughout the whole year for its natural beauty, its unique ecosystem at the Kalama River's delta, a wetland unlike any other anywhere else in the Balkans, the Kalodiki Margariti Swamp, the springs, and the whole Acheron Gliki River, the place where legends and myth began since the early days of Hellenism until today. Here, in the land of Thesprotia, antiquity, the Byzantine times and the modern history meet ancient sites of great archaeological and historical value, Byzantine churches and modern times monuments. Ancient Yitana are located in a fortified position between the rivers Kalamas and Kalpakiotikos. The city flourished in the Hellenistic period. It was built and fortified with the Ipodamius planning system. The most important point of the ancient city was the theatre, next to the river. The Byzantine period is very much alive, thanks to the numerous monasteries and churches that are centuries old, valuable cultural, historical and spiritual treasures. The Monastery of the Assumption at Yiromeri was built around 1300 AD in an area of outstanding natural beauty on the slopes of Farmakovuni Mount. Today, it still hosts a thriving male monastic order and attracts thousands of visitors, contributing decisively to the development of religious tourism in the region. The Monastery Pagani, celebrated on August the 15th near the village of Calithea, situated in a forest area, is an important religious monument of Thesprotia. The first inhabitant was the monk Joachim in the year 1652, as indicated on the door of the church. The paintings are of various ages, 17th and 19th century, and of high craftsmanship. The Church of Virgin Mary stands among the ruins of the settlement of Uzdina or Uzdina. The current name of the village is Pende Ecclesias. From the inscriptions, it is concluded that the temple was built in 1609. Villages with unique architecture, stone houses and cobbled streets instead of asphalt roads, with strong elements of tradition, are preserving the history and the memories of past times. We invite everyone to visit them with us. Visit Finiki. Travel back in time by watching even today the routine of village women who knock the loom, weave and embroider the wedding dresses of their daughters. Against the current era, loyal to traditions they wish to keep alive. Visit the old village of Sayada, that flourished during the Byzantine and Ottoman times, was burned down by German troops in 1943 and was never rebuilt since. Today, the ruins of old mansions and the restored historic center impress every visitor. Kalamas River runs through and dominates the land of Thesprotia, irrigates and nourishes the farmers. It follows a path of stunning natural beauty from its springs until its sand at the Ionian Sea, giving life to villages and towns nearby, passing under collapsed arched bridges with strong momentum in its beginning and calm as it reaches its delta and the sea. The river's delta is one of the most important wetlands in Greece, situated in the area between Sayada, Raio, and Igumenitsa. At the river Acheron and its banks, beside the poplars, don't be surprised if you run into Persephone, daughter of the legendary goddess of agriculture, Demeter. She is the goddess of life and death, and Hades, god of the underworld, keeps her trapped in this place, his dark kingdom, for thousands of years now.
The climate of Thesprotia is a mild Mediterranean one, ideal for tourism almost throughout the whole year. In the summer, you'll be impressed by the stunning beaches, the clean sea, the crystal clear waters, ranging from Sayada to Macriyali beaches and Drepano of Iumenica, the beautiful Plataria and the worldwide famous beaches of Sivota and Perdica. Sivota, just 25 kilometers from Igumenica, is a resort that attracts many visitors from Greece and abroad. It is an area of outstanding natural beauty, beautiful beaches, wonderful seashores and sea caves, Mikros Paradisos, French Molos, Megamos, Mikri Megamos, Zavia, Bella Vraca, Piscina are some of the most famous beaches of Sivota, which invite the visitor to enjoy the sunshine, water sports and games. In Perdica, the famous beach of Arilas and Caravostasi, seemingly endless beaches with white sand and turquoise waters are benchmarks for each one of us that would like to visit the region and enjoy unforgettable holidays. Twelve kilometers from Igumenica, the picturesque fishing village of Plataria enchants with its sandy beaches and unique specialty, really fresh fish at every tavern. Luxury hotels, tourist accommodations and family-run studios in Sayada, Igumenica, Glikia Tajeron, Sivota and Perdica are available for your accommodation. In Sayada, beginning from Scala or Scaloma, an important hub between Ioannina and Corfu in the Middle Ages and Ottoman times, and the village's harbor today, you can visit the beaches that are really close to it, Keramidi and Strovili, located on a conical hill inside the sea, right opposite to Corfu's town. On its top, there are ruins of a Venetian castle, and on its outskirts, a beautiful, sandy beach. The town of Filiata, home of the once thriving province of the same name, and today of the municipality, with paved and cobbled streets, traditional houses, the established street market every Thursday, and its great past gathers foreign and local tourists. The historical city of Paramithia, a place of martyrdom for the 49 people that were executed by the Alvanotamides, the seat of the metropolis, and of the similarly named in the past province, impresses visitors with its architecture and traditional buildings. The villages of the heroic Suli, with the few remaining inhabitants today, mostly farmers, are and will continue in perpetuity to be a beacon and a symbol of freedom and sacrifice of the Greeks against any invader. The abbot Samuel and the heroic Kugi are always there to remind us all, both Greeks and foreign visitors, of the feeling of independence and freedom of our ancestors, those who blew themselves up in it, and of Suli mothers who preferred an honorable death by dancing and jumping into Zalogo with their children instead of the slavery and dishonor by the conquerors. Igumenica, the capital city of Thesprotia, is a transit hub of modern standards and a never-expanding port which connects the east to the west. A European gate, now upgraded after the completion of the Ignatia Street, it gives prospects for future development. A pleasant and hospitable city with modern hotels and tourist accommodation, nightlife and frenzied fun till dawn, it brings more visitors every year who leave happier every time receiving the best of impressions. We expect you to meet Thesprotia. It's worth it. Be sure of that.